Welcome to Wheelbase, UK's largest cycle store. We're here at our big demo weekend in March. As you can see, it's a bit chilly out here. And uh, up here in the Lake District, we've got 120 bikes to demo uh, up in the Kentmere Valley. I'm here with Scott from Kona, and uh, we've got the whole full range of processes here. So we're going to run through the process platform from Kona, which has really been uh, really hot models and uh, transforming sales for, for Kona uh, this year and, um, and last year. So we're going to take you through each model uh, relatively swiftly. Um, so we're going to start uh, start here. Just pass the 29er uh, version on to Scott. The important thing about uh, the Kona process range is we're not wheel size discriminant. Um, the most important thing about a bike is the way it should handle, not necessarily the wheel size and the volume of suspension that it has. So we have four bikes going under the same heading name of the process, and we have three different wheel sizes. This is the 111. Each bike is built with the relevant travel to make it handle correctly to the way the team thought it should handle. So you get 111 mil rear travel, matched with a 120 mil pike. Um, this bike comes with 29 inch wheels because they're good and we can fit them into the short rear end with the, the suspension length that it has. Moving on sure. to the 134. A slightly more trail friendly bike. Uh, this is the, if you've only got one bike, the bike to rule all bikes. So it can do a gravity enduro, but also you can go and ride around a trail centre all day on it. So it's 140 mil front travel and as the name suggests, 134 on the rear. Um, two finishing kits on this one, isn't it? There, there is, so, yeah. yeah. There's, there's this one available at 2,400, and there's another one available at 2,399. And that's the DL. That's the, the DL, the yeah, DL. which yeah. is in silver. Yeah. Yep. So on to the uh, five. The daddy, the 153. Yep. So this is your 650B, uh, 153mm rear, 160mm pike, available in two models. This one's 2,899, and there is a DL available at 3,999. We found this to be the real hot model, haven't we? This is, this is the one where the majority of people are, are These guys to. are doing very well with it. They're selling a lot of it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. been a very popular model. Uh, they're selling through very well. Uh, the reviews have been very good of it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of in that 160 mil platform with a 27 and a half inch wheel. It's quite in demand at the moment. It's been around for two years now yeah. and uh, still very hard to get hold of. I think it was, that, it was a cover of dirt, wasn't it? When it hit the cover yeah. of dirt, that was when yeah, it really dirt 100 accelerated. Last year. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, stock availability has been a challenge. So you know, yeah, it's that you know, it's that popular. But it's come down to wheelbase because they've got most sizes in stock. Yeah. And finally, we go down even further in wheel size, up again in travel. So we have, this is the process one six seven. Uh, this is a, a prototype model, so it comes with a vivid air shock. The stock models that arrive next month, not this coil. Uh, and again, down to the handling the, to get the bike to handle the way the designers wanted it with the volume of suspension they wanted to have, which is 167 mil on the rear and a 170 mil fork. The only way to keep the back end so short was to put 26 inch wheels yeah. in there. Shock so, horror. Shock horror, <laughs> yes. Important, the importance of a bike handling is more important than the wheel size. So we have a range of bikes under the name of Process and we cover 26, 27 and a half and 29 inch wheel size. So 167 then, what kind of, what, is it an Alpine bike or is it? Yeah, this is bordering on uplift only bike. Yeah. Um, so with the Vivid Air, it will, you will be able to pedal it all day. You'll need to be quite strong to do so. Um, it is great in the Alps if you've got a lift because it will yeah. just roost off everything going downhill. Yeah. It replaces sort of the entourage of the past. So um, you could quite happily race downhill on this. I find this quite good for, for part use in the Alps because I struggle with a triple clamp fork having never raced downhill yeah. and this, this bike was really good for me. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. excellent. Cool. Cheers, okay. thanks. Thank you, Joey.